This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day when he rose again, when he rose again. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So my dear children, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'd like to wish you a very happy and holy Easter. This is the day when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. As we do always at the beginning of our Liturgy of the Word, we take a moment to acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the firstborn from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the resurrection and the life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You give us new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Increase the faith of those who place their hope in you, O Lord, and hear the prayers of those who call on you, that we who hail Christ's triumph may bear fruit for you by the good works accomplished in him who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, I am sure that you know what has been told all over Judea about Jesus of Nazareth, that in all began in Galilee when John was preaching about baptism and God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power, that Jesus went from place to place doing good works and healing people from evil, for God was with him. We ourselves saw all that he did in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him up on the third day. And we have seen him. We ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He told us to preach to the people and to tell them that he is the one chosen by God to be the judge of all people, both living and dead. All the prophets tell us everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven in his name. The word of the Lord. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. You open the gates of heaven. You have given me life. You have given me life. I will proclaim the wonders you do. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. We've waited 40 days to be able to sing our Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 
Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead. He has risen as he said, Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, Mary Magdalene and another woman named Mary went to the tomb where Jesus was buried. Suddenly there was a big earthquake and an angel of God came down from heaven. The angel rolled the stone away from in front of the tomb and sat on it. The angel was wearing bright white clothes that were shining like lightning. The soldiers who were guarding the tomb were very frightened and they fell down like they were dead. Then the angel said to the woman, don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he isn't here. He has been raised from the dead, just as he said he would. Come and see the place where his body was laid. Now hurry and tell his disciples about this. Say to them, Jesus has risen from the dead. He is going to Galilee where you will see him. So the women hurried off. They were filled with joy, but they were also a little afraid. Suddenly Jesus was standing right in front of them. He said, peace. The women fell down and hugged his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said, don't be afraid. Go and tell my disciples that they must go to Galilee where they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Easter, a word that literally means to look towards the east, to look towards the rising sun. That's a wonderful play on words, as on this day we celebrate the risen Son of God. Another word we use is Pascha, from Paschal, a word coming from Passover. And this is the day when we celebrate Jesus passing over from death into life. And over my shoulder, you can see the Paschal candle, the Easter candle. It was there at our baptisms and it will be there again at our funerals. The day when we too will pass over from death into life. It's a little after nine o'clock on Easter Sunday morning and I'm wondering just how much chocolate you have already eaten today. The Easter egg represents the empty tomb and they are offered and eaten in thanksgiving for the resurrection of Jesus. Within the egg, life is dormant until it breaks through the shell. Eggs then are a symbol of life, particularly rebirth, which we experience in holy baptism. They are also part of our celebration that the Lenten fast is now over and now praise God it is time to celebrate the feast. In times past, the last time we may have eaten eggs would have been on Shrove Tuesday, 
when we were make, using up all the fats before the fast, especially uh, making pancakes. Important question, what about the Easter bunny? Well, possibly a similar idea to Santa Claus in respect of judging whether you have been good and whether you deserve to take part in the feast. And that's the idea of the Easter egg hunt, the bunny leaving little eggs to see whether you can come and find them if you're only if you're good enough. But remember today that our focus is always on the risen Christ. And the word resurrection literally means to straighten up. One who was lying in sleep gets up again and continues with their mission. And every Sunday is a mini Easter Sunday and we should be ready to get up from our sleep and come and celebrate the resurrection of Christ. And so I wish you all again a very happy and holy Easter. Dear children, Christ is truly risen, alleluia, and so we pray for the church. May we tell everyone that Jesus lives in us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are due to be baptised or received into the church of God, may we keep them in our prayers as their Lent continues. For world leaders, may they look to keep us safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all NH staff, care and key workers, may they be strengthened and protected. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood, diaconate and religious life, may Jesus Christ give us all a share in his mission to save us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick, may they receive comfort and healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who have died and whose anniversaries are at this time, may they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty Father, this is the day that you have made, and so we ask you to hear and answer our prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And then perhaps once again, inviting you to do your activity, to consider some creative drawing or artwork that draws out the resurrection of Jesus. Uh, perhaps an Easter garden, perhaps the empty tomb, perhaps a meeting of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. And those who follow our Facebook page, would love to see what you've come up with. Perhaps you could take a picture and upload it in the comment sections below. Uh, of course, always make sure you ask your parents' permission before using their iPhone or iPad. And thanks to all those who have already shared their artwork in previous weeks. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
This is the day, this is the day when he rose again, when he rose again. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made.